I really love alpine areas. I, I seem to be drawn to them. There's a lot about them that speaks to me. There's sort of, they're always a bit shifting. They're a bit unstable. And I've been going down to Kosciuszko particularly for many, many years. I just love finding a new vision for that. Every time I come back to it, it's kind of like an old friend that you haven't seen in a while. Things change and your thoughts about what's there change and therefore the way you can interpret that landscape is different. So I've done a lot of paintings of the area, but each time they're different. Being on top of that mountain and it's quiet, there's sort of this nothing, but it's still, it's um, so sensory. Do you think that's an important part to actually just experience the landscape before you actually put pencil to paper? For me, it's, it's really important. I actually find just being in it sometimes more valuable than trying to draw it out there. And I do draw and, and paint in the field, but I love just that feeling of being in it. And I think I can gain more from watching it and feeling it and listening to it. And, and I find the most valuable things I do out there is usually just quick sketches. They're just impressions. Um, and I just find they're a bit more honest yeah. and more intuitive, um, which is helpful when you're back in the studio. When I start, they're all very loose. They're quite abstract. They're just blocks of colors and then you draw into it and then more blocks of colors and marks. And then there's sort of a turning point, I guess, maybe with whether I head more towards abstraction or to representation. And usually it's the painting itself that kind of determines that. So you just sort of make, you know, the next decision and then the next decision and it sort of leads it one way or the other. Um, but I often find that, you know, when you're working up close too on a larger work, they can seem abstract while you're working and then you step back. And suddenly you're like, oh my God, it's the actual scene, you know? And it was sometimes unintentional.